flames ripped through an abandoned historic hotel just south of downtown Dallas overnight. It took more than 100 firefighters several hours to get it under control. And from Chopper 11 on the left side of your screen, you can see the smoky aftermath that's still lingering at midday. Good morning, everyone. Glad you're with us. I'm Russ McCaskill. And I'm Karen Borda. The fire started at about 1.30 this morning at the six-story Ambassador Hotel on South Irvay Street. We have live team coverage this morning, including the closures and detours in place. First, though, we're going to begin with Jennifer Lindgren with the very latest on the investigation. Jen. Well, Russ, just in the last couple of minutes out here, firefighters stopped pouring water onto the remains of the hotel. It had been going nonstop for the last 10 hours, though it is still not at all safe for investigators to get close enough to this building to begin digging around looking for physical evidence of the cause of the fire. And with this much destruction, firefighters say they may really never know how this all started. With flames visible from miles away, and wind whipping embers into the sky. What was once the oldest luxury hotel in the city of Dallas, the Ambassador is now just a shell of its former life. You can feel the heat from the fire. Um, and, and the structure fire was just, I mean, it was just crazy. On the way home to Fort Worth from the long holiday weekend, Jerry Peppers caught the glow on his dash camera as he drove down I-30 West. Fireballs were shooting across the highway. Uh, we were able to feel the heat with our windows up from our vehicle. Up close, more than 100 Dallas firefighters poured water onto the building from every angle. The six-story hotel quickly collapsed inward, making it impossible for crews to search inside. The command ordered everyone to pull back, and it was clearly going to be a defensive effort uh, pretty much from the onset. The ambassador opened in 1905. Presidents Theodore Roosevelt, William Taft, and Woodrow Wilson stayed here while visiting Dallas. Vacant for years, a developer was on the brink of breathing new life into the property as a mixed use space. Uh, the city was looking forward to it, uh, the neighborhood was, and we were too. Jim Lake is a part owner of the Texas landmark. This probably been the most complex and uh, difficult. Redevelopment project I've ever worked on, but we felt it was so important for the city with the history. Lake hopes some bricks or material can be repurposed, but knows it will never be the same. It's just a huge disappointment because you can't recreate this. Now, at this time, firefighters say they are not aware of anybody who was hurt or trapped in this fire. They have interviewed a security guard who was assigned to watch this property who was nearby last night. He told fire investigators he saw no indication anyone was inside the building overnight. So a lot of work to be done out here this morning. And this has also caused a lot of street closures around the Cedars neighborhood and the downtown Dallas area. 